I'm, I'm happy, you know, I'm happy to get Michelle off you guys on camera, but I feel more... Hello there guys, welcome back into yet another one of us review both. My name's Aaron and today we are joined on a review of quite obviously from the thumbnail more plates, more dates, Gorilla Mind, Turkestrone. We've got an unbelievable amount of requests to get this review done. You know, we have teased it on our Instagram a few months back now that we got hold of three different bottles of this. Um, we've done German Farmers Turkestrone back in the day. And uh, yeah, the DMs were just flooding in. They still are just regarding this product across all our socials. And um, you know, I think it's time. I only finished these a couple of weeks ago. And again, very, very similar to the German Farmers to Kestro. And I'm gonna give you guys a bit of a backstory because it's not just as easy as to say, this product helped me gain X, Y, and Z. It's, it's, it's quite a complicated, you know, procedure effectively. So obviously, like I mentioned, we bought three bottles worth and I have been taking three pills per the day. So it only lasted me two months, which, in absolute 100% with you, I would have liked a little bit more, but it was hard to get hold of those three bottles because they sell out like, like literally, they go on and bang, they are gone. So um, yeah, we was lucky enough to get hold of three bottles. There was a couple of times where we did fail, so we wanted to get this review done like a long time ago, like before the German Farmer one even as such. Um, so yeah, there was a bit of weight there. Now, like I mentioned, three pills per the day. Now. With German Pharma, this is very important to mention, I gained a lot of weight on those ones. It was incredible. It was amazing, especially being, you know, 100% natural, not using anything else, no androgenic uh, exogenous substances, no hormonal replacement whatsoever. And to gain that sort of weight was magical. It was, um, it was crazy. That's the truth behind it. Now, what is very, very important to mention with the German Pharma Tocestrone is when I was using those, yes, I was in a big calorie excess and I was gunning it, I was motivated, I was training hard, balls to the walls each day. I was eating everything in sight near enough, guys. I was well above my maintenance calories and it was, it was harder. Don't get me wrong, I know for a fact, I know in my heart, I've been training 12 years now, I know in my heart of hearts that I've eaten like that before in the past, but through many different schedules, and I've never gained as much as I did on the German Farmer Tocesterone. So I would truly like to attribute, you know, half of that weight as being actual muscle, or, you know, that's the truth. It's, it was crazy stuff. Now, everyone asked us, do you think that would work on a car, or do you think that would work on less calories? So that's what I've done. That is what I've done on this one. So on this one, I haven't been in a cut as such, but I have been keeping my calories at baseline um, daily rate, guys. M maintenance levels, two and a half thousand to three thousand a day at the top end days, guys. It, clean eating, some cardio each day, you know, very, very, very basic stuff. But not, I wouldn't call it an extreme cut, but I would definitely say that it was baseline. Now, when I started these, I started these just over, three, just under three months ago, should I say, sorry. And it took me two months, so it has been about three weeks since I've stopped using these. Now, I've kept a pill back in the container to show you guys. So yeah, back when I started these, I was 215 pounds. I've got it all documented so I can remember it all. 215 pounds, so as you can remember, I got up to 221 pounds on German Pharma. There was about a three month period between the two, three to four months between the two. So German Pharma took estrone, stopped. There was a nice gap, didn't eat, you know, training was okay, all the rest of it. I actually held weight really well at 215, I believe. Um, and then I started these. So, you know, going from the beginning, um, started off at 215. And then looking at my strength gains, guys, um, got it all documented. So back when I first started these, my bench had dropped down all the way to 300 pounds. My squat was um, 365 and my deadlift was 395. Um, I did have 
injuries, you know, especially in my shoulders. Benching had taken a hit back in the day. I used to do 405 for a single. Um, and I'm definitely not as strength orientated as I was back in my early 20s. And, you know, I'm not doing any powerlifting or anything along those lines. It's everything is so much more bodybuilding related now, more endurance stuff. So that's why endurance on this stuff, as I will mention, was good. Um, but yeah, my, my lifts weren't anything fantastic at all, but I also wasn't trying to press on them. Whereas I did a bit more and I'll give you them at the back end of this review. So getting into it. So maintenance calories throughout the, uh, throughout the period of time using this product. What I did notice straight away was an increase in motivation, which I do think is very, very placebo-ish. As in like you start taking any of these new products and you're like, yes, let's give it some because this product's going to be aging me. And that comes pretty much straight away. So I don't attribute that to any product. What I do attribute to product is a slight sense of an endurance increase straight away. That was apparent. I, I felt like I could just go for it. And a very, very slight apparent um, strength increase. You know, that was quite quick, quite quickly onset through the through the course of this testosterone. Um, not crazy numbers, not silly numbers, because I was training more in a bodybuilding sense rather than, than powerlifting. Um, but yeah, I definitely noticed some slight strength increases and I do actually attribute that to that endurance factor that I mentioned there. My weight throughout the period, from literally the beginning to the end of this course, has jumped back up to 220. So I've only put on five pounds, guys, but this is so important with this one. I attribute that 100% to testosterone because my calories have been very, very baseline. Very, very daily maintenance schedules. There's not been any crazy cheat days, no carb loading, no carb cycling. It's just been very, very basic. And the meals have been relatively clean, guys. I'm talking, you know, rice and, and chicken, uh, some steak, salmons, tuna steaks, you know, very basic stuff. And, you know, I'd only cheat once or twice a week. So, and even then, that was within those calories. There was never an excess in calories. So to gain five pounds, even after using the German Pharma testosterone for a long period of time, and um, for the baseline ca calories even more so, was very, very good. And I actually honestly do feel more shredded as well. So I do think that whilst I was gaining weight in terms of muscle weight, and potentially some water weight there, I really don't think there was any though, there was definitely some losses in fat. Um, you know, I just I just felt more more shredded. And um, in terms of progress pictures, I don't really have many this time. I mean, I'm I'm happy. You know, I'm happy to get my shirt off for you guys on camera. But I feel more. I just feel more like lean and more. You know, there we go. Let's give it some. But I just feel nice. I feel shredded, and I wanted to do that do that a bit more as such because obviously. Winter had ended and we'd started coming into the new year, you know, summer's on its way. Um, I just think it was important for myself to, to get a bit healthier because when I bulked on the German farmer stuff, I bulked, guys. I really did. I whacked it on. So the question you guys are asking, would I recommend this stuff? The answer is 100% yeah. Now, I've got one, literally one pill left just to show you guys on camera. Remember, three of those a day. Now, personally, these are the questions we always, always get asked about this. There's, there's a few questions. When did I take them? I personally took them all three together first thing in the morning. I don't know if that's the right way to do it. I don't know if that's the best way. But as I've mentioned previously in a previous video, do I think it makes that much difference at all? We're talking negligible amounts, guys. Minimal. If I was going to do it any other way at all, I probably just would have taken three after training each day. But I always have a rest day, so that would throw it off a little bit on that rest day. And that's why I just did it in the morning. Because it's easy. I go down, I blend up my shake as I do every morning. They're on there, on the counter, bang, with the shake. It's just so easy. That's, per that's my personal opinion. Now, the other questions we get, can you take this alongside ectosterone? We get that question a lot. The answer for that. As far as we have researched scientifically and studied and researched, the answer is yes. I do believe so because they're both ectosteroids. And what does that mean? They are steroids that are derived from plants. They help plants grow. 
but they've also been shown to have fantastic results in humans. And that's something myself, I've experienced from German farmers and now from this one. So it's really, really good. Now, other questions we get, how much would that be per day? Can you take more than three a day? Can you take less than three a day? I think you probably could get away with taking two a day to spread it out, but obviously your results will be a bit longer stretched and vice versa. I do believe you could take four, five, six a day. You know, I don't think there's an upper limit as such that research has suggested yet. So yeah, you could do. And again, the results might come a quick bit quicker, but they might also come with diminishing returns. So that be on your head. This is what, what I use three a day. Um, and I had those results again, five pounds of lean mass is, is, um, is what I'm saying. I could have taken six and I might have still got the same and I might have ended up, you know, urinating the rest out. It could have been a waste. Or I could have gained 10 pounds. That's the um, that's the fun with these things. You can, you know, we're, we're definitely planning on getting some more. I'll, I'll do another review. I'll get some more and study. It and, you know, it's always about experiment with yourself. And I can't guarantee everyone's going to have the same results. Some people are very, very good responders to tocasterone. And I, I personally... I personally believe I am one of the better responders out there. Some people do use it and they do come back and say they didn't notice anything compared to steroids. Now, obviously, the other question we get, will you still be natty on this? This is one of the biggest questions. Yes, this is 100% natural, guys. It's not going to fuck with your hormones. It's not going to fuck you know anything up. It's not going to fuck with your lipid levels. It's not going to shut you down. It's not going to replace your testosterone. It's not going to do any of that stuff, guys. So in turn, I also do not believe it is as effective as Deca, Tren, Testosterone, you know, 300 milligrams a week. Of course it's not. But it also doesn't come with any of those potential negatives that, you know, exogenous hormones are going to bring. So there's massive, massive, massive strengths to it. There's a lot of people out there that don't want the whole hassle of going unnatural. And you know what? This would be one of my top choices for the, that person to try before they want to take the, you know, the grey route or the dark route down that, down that pathway. So they're the questions we get. We take them in the morning. Yes, you will still be natty on this stuff. And um, yes, we believe you can take it with ectosterone. So they're, they're, they're very similar in effect, slightly different pathways they won't conflict with each other. If anything, they'll amplify each other, but it's all money, guys, isn't it? You're gonna be spending a lot of money. Now, yes, the other question we get, oh, the other thing we get, we've got to mention this. You've got a discount code, that means you're biased. Well, I can see where you're coming from. Of course I can. We pride ourselves here at Review Bros on being unbiased. Now, RB10 does work on these. I'm not going to lie, anything like the Gorilla Mind website, but check our page out Review Bros discount codes and you'll see that we have discount codes with so many different companies. So we don't have prejudice, we don't have priority to send people to one site versus another. We really don't. That's just based on our honest personal effects. So for myself on this, I felt leaner. I gained that five pounds in body weight. I felt more endurance. Oh, oh, really important, the strength gains. Let me just tell you about the strength gains. So I've got my bench back up to 385. Now, that is a massive jump, and you'll be saying that's a massive jump, but I've worked through my injuries, I've worked on it, and I've got back to near numbers before. You know that whole thing, muscle memory, of course that jumps up. That's always one of those things. If you've done something before, it's a lot easier to do it again. So I do think I got stronger on this, but I also do think that I actually, you know, I went for it. So of course the two things are gonna combine. Um, squat back to 405, which is in line with what I've done before, and my deadlift back to 432.5. So. They're getting up there again. They are getting up there, guys. I do attribute the squat and the deadlift to this, though, because I didn't necessarily go down it as a powerlifting route, but more of that endurance, more of this. I do believe this stuff works for strength and weight gains pretty much every single time. So, 
yeah guys if that sounds right to you do check it out um if you can get your hands on it like i said it is very difficult to do so but yeah it's uh it's a solid solid natural product so good luck guys